Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I got a new workout set. I am feeling so cute and so confident right now. Like, okay, mother is mothering. Shout out Gymshark. I think I misunderstood the girl a little bit. If you're watching this, Arlon, I literally realized in the car. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been, I've been laughing ever since. I did a Gymshark podcast last week and I asked, what should I wear? And they said there will be outfit options on site. I get there, she says, you don't even have to change your outfit, like you look cute. Just stay in what you're wearing, but there was like a bag of Gymshark all in my size of like options, I guess. And I took the whole entire bag home with me. So I don't know if that was a miscommunication or what. <laughs> I've been laughing about it ever since and I have a whole new athleisure wardrobe. I really do like the look of having baby toys all around. Like these two little baby chairs, I feel like really adds something cute to the background right now. I'm taking my greens. I am a mango type of girly. Oh, like the mango to me tastes so bomb. I first heard about this on TikTok. That's where I first saw Bloom. It is amazing for bloating. I don't know why, but after having a baby, I don't know if this correlates at all, but I feel like I get bloated a lot easier. And Bloom is amazing for that. This little thing is way too much fun. I'm on a bit of a greens kick right now. I love them because they are two seconds and I feel like such a healthy queen. And it takes me two seconds to make it. Let's go, let's go. Fun fact, Sabrina Claudio. I really hope that's her fucking What's her name, Sabrina Carpenter. Um, Sabrina Carpenter watches. Fun fact, if you're watching this, I love you. She says she does 12, 3, 30. I met her in New York and I just got reminded hearing her fabulous song. You know what? I always thought it was a little bit on the cornier side to have a name for the people that follow you. Like, cause I wanted to be like, Sabrina Carpenter is a da da da. Like, you know how Wendy has her Wendy watchers. I actually realized that I feel left out and I want something. I mean, I guess the 12, 3, 30 girls. She's a 12, 3, 30 girl. Sabrina Carpenter is a 12, 3, 30 girl. Yeah, that does sound cute. Okay, are you a 12, 3, 30 girl? When I first started making vines when I was like 16, I remember people pressuring me like, you need something to call your fans. And I'm like, guys, like I'm not gonna do all that, but now I want it. <laughs> Let's go work out. I'm in such a good mood today. I don't know what's going on, but I just woke up with a battery up you know, I mean, let's not be, let's be classy. Let's have a fabulous workout. My plan for today is 12, 3, 30, and I may not do the whole thing because I want to do some weights. I've been targeting my arms. I've been targeting my back. I've been really getting in there and I feel like I should pick up some weight today. Yeah, I had a breakfast. I had coffee. I'm in a great mood. Today's the day. I'm not going to bring this camera in there, but I'll film on my phone. That's something that I actually miss so bad about Arizona is having my garage gym. I, you know, public gyms, <sighs> I'm too antisocial of a person to be the type of person that enjoys a public gym. That's my tea. Cause like I get that people go to the public gym and there's people that are friendly and they use it as a place to make friends and da da da. But no, I don't get comfortable in a gym environment. If it was an all girls gym, I would feel so comfortable. I would be like smiling, best version of myself, happy as a clam, like social girl. But no, so. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the vlog camera and whatever phone footage I get is whatever phone footage I get. Sometimes I'm feeling ballsy in there and I'll set my phone up anywhere and I'm like, you know what? I'm getting my content today. That's actually good about Miami, I will say that. There's so many people getting their content that I'm in good company. I'm definitely not the only one, which is fabulous. And I kind of just blend in, yeah, because I've been in other gym situations before and I'm like literally the only one filming myself and everybody else is like 40 years old with a full-time job and just getting in a quick workout and I definitely stick out like a sore thumb. But here, I've seen a couple other girly swirlies getting their vertical videos and I'm like, we get it. Let's do it. I'm starting with about six minutes on the treadmill. Today, I'm just really gonna warm up with 12, 3, 30 and not do the entire thing. I don't wanna gas out when it's time to get to the weights. I'm starting with arms. These are fabulous and I've been noticing a difference in how toned my arms are. These I was really bad at at first and I didn't wanna do them, but the more that I do them, the better I get at the exercise and I feel like these are great for my little hip dips and for rounding out the new birth giving hips that I have. I'm really trying to tone my back. My 
back used to be like insanely toned and I'm trying to get back to that. I know that it's possible for me. I know what I have to do. It's like lap pull down machine and like dips and like just paying attention to these little areas that are easy to overlook. Bench dips are really hard, but I notice every time I do them, I get a little bit better. And with hip thrusts, I used to do literally 300 pounds. It sounds like I'm lying. I'm not lying. I would do 300 pounds on hip thrusts and I am nowhere near that anymore. I have like a lot less strength, honestly a lot less strength, but I'm trying to work my way back up on the hip thrusts. Oh my gosh, when I was doing like a lot of weight on the hip thrusts, I had a legit fatty, fat, 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 fat T. So I'm trying to get back into that and backward lunges, I typically hate backward lunges. Again, the more that I do them, the better I get at them and I'm getting kind of good and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like these do actually make a difference in how my body looks. So I'm putting some effort into that. These should be removed from the video. That's a video of my butt. You're gonna get a haircut? Are you filming him? A little, just his little eyebrows and his little hands. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. You're gonna get a haircut. He's huge. That's actually insane. He's a big boy. Also, I saw the part where you were talking about the trip of me like being nervous and stuff to go. Certain moms that could do so much. Like how do you go on all these trips and do all these activities with your baby? Like that's like my biggest thing that I'm with Henny all the time asking him, talking to him. I'm like, we need to start doing more, like more real life things. I get it. He's a little bit more scared when it comes to doing anything. He said it. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous to go. Absolutely. I know. I know. Can we talk about it? We're going on our first family trip. Henny's super nervous. Well, I want to cancel it. You want to cancel it? I mean, that's a little dramatic, but... You're so annoying for that. You don't want to go up the street with him. You don't want to go to the beach with him. You don't want to take him anywhere. I just get scared and worried. There's so many other people with babies that do the most and have so much fun as a family. I get anxiety around boom, getting on a plane with him and doing all these things and being out and about like in another state for no reason. I agree to a certain extent, but he's six months and he is a human being. And human beings live in the real world. And if we shelter him too much and we stop our lives too much, like also we're prepping him to be a real person. Yeah. So you want him to see the snow and like the mountains and all that? He can't even ski. <laughs> but we're not bringing him there to ski. What's he gonna do out there? Like... No, it's it's nice. We're going on the trip. Everything's already booked. Like, no, I know. Cancel anything. That means he, agree, he agrees with me? He's trying to go on the trip. He wants to go to Disneyland. No, he doesn't. He wants to go see the mountains and the snow and do snowball fights and dress up in cute little teddy bear clothes. That's what he wants to do. All right, love you, Grizzly. Love you, have fun. And he just left to go to his boxing class. And this happens sometimes. Sometimes it'll be past bedtime and he'll stay up. It's because sometimes he'll get like two quick naps during the day and sometimes he'll really nap during the day. And today he really napped, so. Bedtime may take a little more than usual. And then I watch him on the monitor. Like I watch him on the monitor and those noises aren't crying, like he's not crying. That's just him making noises. I got layers. Let me show you my new do. I needed this so desperately, my hair. Okay, gorgeous. I was able to get him down. All he needed was an extra three ounces. So Henny went to his boxing class and earlier I went to the gym and had a workout. So it's all about taking turns when it comes to watching the baby. So it is his time to shine. And after he's gonna go to the grocery store. That's another thing. It's like, I mean, obviously every simple task becomes harder with a baby but they still have to get done so he's gonna do that after i have a really annoying obsession with this carrot cake somebody has to make a compilation of all the times i've talked about this carrot cake throughout my pregnancy and postpartum because this carrot cake might as well be a character in the videos at this point i'm big chilling with my baby monitor he is good I felt it. Like that last time I put him down, I'm like, you are, you are KO. I know he's gonna be good for at least 
three hours, I can tell. I really can't get over how good this place looks at night. Like this house obviously looks super pretty in the daytime and it gets a lot of natural lighting, but at night is really where she shines. I wish that light was turned on to really give the full effect and everything's a mess. Not really. It's just the shoes by the door. I have to be stricter about this rule. The shoes by the door and the entryway table being cluttered. I really do feel like this place looks the best at the nighttime because all the lights are low and the yellow lighting is on. All the overhead lighting is off and this warm light feels romantic. And this is truly when I come alive. Like I come alive at the nighttime. Once he's asleep in bed at 7.30 and it's just me and my warm yellow lights and whatever I want to put on, if it's Trisha Paytas podcast or Ugly Betty on Netflix, like it's just my time. And I truly, truly come alive. So having this low dim lighting and the sanctuary, I'm like, in heaven. I don't think I've turned on this lamp yet. I do have to figure out some sort of solution for this cable, because that's obviously a vibe kill, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I got a haircut today. I think it was trying to tell you earlier, but I got a haircut today and I finally got some layers. I'm like, seriously, why every time I do my hair does it fall flat? And Obviously, it's because I haven't gotten a proper haircut with layers in like a year. So, hello. I mean, you can't tell now, but I feel like once I style it, I'm finally going to be able to get some body easily. It was fabulous. You know what motherhood has really helped me with? I feel like before, I was not more mousy because I don't think I was ever mousy, but I think I was like way less comfortable with being assertive in situations where I really don't have any bad intentions. This example from the hair salon today is I made an appointment at 2.15 and I get there at 2.15 and they make me wait 15 minutes. Old me without a kid where time is not of the essence as much, I would have just sat there and been like, whatever, I'm not going to say anything, don't want to be rude, don't want to come off as a bitch. New me, it's like that fear of coming off as a bitch vanishes vanishes because you realize you're like i'm not doing anything wrong here i don't have any bad intentions i'm just being clear in my communication and you really i really have gotten such a new backbone in this whole motherhood thing because i'm like i'm a you're in a mother's time so at 2 30 i'm like um hi my appointment's at 2 15 what time is she gonna see me she said oh she's running a couple minutes behind let me check oh she's running behind i'm like what time is she gonna see me Oh, it should only be a couple minutes. I don't know. What time is she going to see me? What time is she going to see me? Oh, we're going to send somebody to start washing your hair. And then she's going to come. I don't need to get my hair washed. What time is she going to see me? Because you just asked for clear communication. What time? Like asking clear things like that. I've really gotten better at that. And when she started doing my hair too, she could tell that I was a mother from my postpartum hair loss. She was like, she kind of clocked me. No, she didn't clock me. She was super nice. But she's like, do you have a baby? I'm like, yeah. I do and she has a baby too so she gets it. I've been on a bit of a Depop spree and I'm not sure if this is even on Depop but I'm pretty sure one of it is at least. I'm so uninspired by my closet and it's not something that I want to spend a ton of money on right now. I just got this house together and I'm not trying to like build a new wardrobe. So I'm getting little pieces from Depop and trying to get strategic pieces. Oh, okay, this one is a bit of a funkier purchase. This is so funky. This is funky. The thing with Depop is and Henny taught me this. Henny's so good at Depop, it's so annoying. The thing with it is when it's $15, you can't overthink the purchase. I think this was like a $15 moment. Wait, it's actually cute. The more that I look at it, ugh, I don't know. It's made out of, I think a blanket. It's actually really nice material. I think the reason that I picked it was because it was 100% wool or cashmere or something good, was it? I don't know. This cut's actually kind of interesting. And it's soft like a blanket. Wait, I kind of love it. I don't know. Do you like this? <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Okay, this is a sleigh. This is a certified Depop sleigh. Depop has been good and ThreadUp. ThreadUp also is great. Oh, these are perfect. These are perfect. I did not spend a lot of money on these and they're in perfect condition. Do you think these are, maybe these are fake? <laughs> no, they're definitely not. How gorgeous. I'm gonna do this with my ski suit. Okay, these are stunning. Wow, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. They are in perfect, perfect, perfect condition. 
They're the perfect shade of brown. And this is an extremely flattering shape for my face. This is my ski suit. Yeah, these are the perfect sunglasses for this ski suit. Perfect. Ooh, Murad scent. <gasps> Yay, a serum. I need this so bad. Three serums, thank you Murad. Gorgeous. Three different serums. I've used all these. These are all great. That's what I'm super excited to get back into is skincare. I've been getting back into it and it hits just like the good old days. And three serums, I needed these. ASMR is like really fun, wait. Oh, it's about to die. Last shot of the night. Carne. Carne delicioso. Eat salt in this house. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Battery's flicking red. Oh, okay. Say bye. What do you know about double salting it with two different kinds of salt? What is the second kind, sir? Sal marino con chimichurri.